Hey, hi boys and girls. Um, here we are with Chris, and Chris runs his own little uh, YouTube channel. And guess what the name might be? <laughs> How about Dirty Tesla? <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> so anyways, Chris has got himself a brand new um, self-driving vehicle. Now we're gonna go and take it for a little ride. Chris has uh, volunteered to let me see what's going on. And of course, everything that could go on is going on. <laughs> so here comes a garbage truck. Let's cut as quickly as we can and get into the car. All right. <laughs> Chris has gotten his car for now two whole weeks or something like that. Just about, yeah. And um, and he's one of those special people who got a chance to um, get a hold of the um, uh, the self-driving feature. And we have, <laughs> I have not. And probably the reason is they've checked my driving record or <laughs> who knows. But anyways, uh, so I'm, I'm very happy that Chris is going to give us a little demo. And this one here now is, this is not beta, right? This, this is full self-driving beta version 9. Oh, version 9. Mm -hmm. So I was in the very first version, I think. You were in yeah. version 7 or 8, I believe. I oh, saw that was video. Was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm interested in seeing what's going to happen. First off, the screen looks different. This does not look like my, uh, my Model 3 screen. Um, and you can see that there's a lot of stuff going on here. So I assume that that's us. What's the car here? No, well, it thinks there's a car behind us, although oh, it really? is just a building. Ah, well, there you go. <laughs> Something's in back anyway. So um, something telling you that there's something in back is better than nothing. Right. Okay, so, uh, well, let's, uh, is there anything first off that you wanted to say about the Y, uh, different from the uh, 3? The 3, oh, I love the Y. It's a lot tighter, <laughs> a yeah. lot more, seems refined, hmm. uh, and much quieter, which yeah. I'm enjoying. Yeah, on the highway especially, the 3 was a bit loud, but the Y is, is much better. Well, I'm telling you, um, this, is the mo this is the only model, uh, this is the only electric vehicle I've ever recommended. Wow. So period. Um, uh, and I, basic, I based all of that on the fact that it's got the castings in the back and I knew that this was going to be a much more positive kind of ride than, than anything you're going to get. Yeah. And the Model 3 is good, not bad, but, um, but this is the one that I, I said, you know what, if you're going to buy an electric car, I'd try and buy this one. I agree. Good. Well, <laughs> let's go and try it out. Alrighty. So best is to have a destination. Is there anywhere you'd like to go you can think of? Um, you know what? When I was in the other one, all I did was pop a part on the screen. Can we do that? Yeah, sure. Just pick somewhere that you want and we'll go there. All right. Well, hang on a second. I've never been here. Okay. Hold it down and it should pop up and then we can just tell it to navigate there. And with beta, you can turn on autopilot almost anywhere, uh, whereas in the public build, of course, you need uh, lines on the road. So you can see it's already coming up here in the parking lot. Now, it's not really ready for parking lots yet. That's not part of what Tesla has advertised it's ready to do. Uh, but you can give it a try. It's seeking its way. That's mm -hmm. good. So it is driving now, and you can see it's doing just fine. And as uh, we all probably know, um, uh, Tesla has given up on radar, which I kind of like said is kind of like goofy anyway but um but anyway um um this is a nice screen but the one that i'm really hoping that tesla's going to go for eventually is going to be the FLIR screen i really like the way that looks it's it's the the real deal and uh, that one works um even though um even if it's raining outside um or snowing or anything else it looks through everything yeah so uh, we can see here that it actually stopped mm -hmm. and we've got um, our direction picked and when it turns uh, green again we'll get lucky but, um, but right now um, uh, it's going to take a while to get around that corner this light is really slow oh it's a long light yeah that makes sense so um, what has been the most um, exciting part of having uh, the uh, the full self-driving uh, the beta, it's just nice to, to see the progress. Um, and I know you, you said earlier, I'm one of the lucky few. I'm, I'm rooting for it to come to everybody. I really am. Yeah, <laughs> I well, want so it to I. get pushed out, but I want it to be safe. Um, just seeing the progress and, you know, there's still a lot to be done. It does make mistakes pretty often. I'm sure you'll see a few in this video, but it, the progress has been noticeable. I mean, it, it mm. is getting better. There's no doubt. I actually track uh, the interventions per mile that I get and they have been going down, especially with this version. So it's, it's exciting mm. to see it get better. 
So with beta, you can see everything's represented as kind of these lines. And mm -hmm. the darker the line, the more confident the car is that that's correct. Uh, so you can see the lines right next to us are very dark, and then they kind of fade as the car can't, of course, see around you know, the past corner. that sign yeah. right and around the corner. Um, but as it moves, it'll fill in all of that. Well, this is one of the other things that I think is going to have to happen. The government wants to put up um, stoplights and things like that. Uh, the government's going to have to put little cameras that will uh, address these round the corner kind of issues that uh, that the cars in the future are going to have to have. So that way, what we can see is um, we, we can see everything because from there, I mean, normally they put cameras on them and whatnot, then you can see there's one up there. So it's looking in the wrong direction, though. What we need is not the camera that's stuck up on the top of that to whatever telephone pole. What we really need is cameras that are where those lights are that transmit back to the car and let us know that um, uh, what's going on around us. Right. So that situational awareness is, is a big deal. So now we're going around the corner, no touchy. So that's good. Yep. And we're all green as grass here. <laughs> Also good. Yeah, so the car made that turn no problem. It's very good with uh, having a green light and, and making it right through. Uh, the biggest one is unprotected lefts where it's kind of like you have to wait for your right of way. Sometimes the car is not always as confident. So uh, the reason that I like the idea of going here is because this has a more than 90 degree curve in it uh, cool. yeah. to go around the corner. So we're going to be going... Um, um, about 120 degrees here mm -hmm. so um, I haven't seen it perform um, like this the the one that I went in we didn't we didn't see that I'm gonna give it a little tap here so it'll it'll move through so that's me kind of nudging it saying All right, it's time to go that was it telling me to keep my hand on the wheel ah. but boom did that turn no problem as well yeah well that's good left turns are were a big deal for everybody <laughs> um, I think everybody's kind of got them um, under control now. And here's the only thing I don't like. It wants to change to the slow lane. <laughs> uh, I, um, I've, uh, I've defeated that on my existing, on the, on the Model 3. I uh, put it into autopilot and now it knows that I don't like that idea. <laughs> but it took me quite a while to try and figure out how to get rid of that particular feature. I'm sure that it's great for... Um, the insurance company guys, but it pisses me off to no end. And the other thing is, I don't think I've ever gone down here at 35 miles an hour. So, <laughs> well, Beta is very good at, at following. Well, the rules, actually, so. the police may be watching. I rarely go 35 miles an hour. I I always go slower, <laughs> just in case a a rabbit or a squirrel runs out. You never know. I uh, yes, you're true. It's truly true. Yeah. So another thing that's cool about this neighborhood is it's got these um, off-bank curves, and so now yeah. we're going to go, hopefully, on a um, on a, a, a curve that is going to be um, 120 degrees in the opposite direction. It's going to go over the over the bridge here. Great. It shouldn't be a problem. I've noticed with, with this version, it's much better at, if it gets kind of close to the curb, it'll start to turn and then it'll move its nose out a little bit more to kind of give itself some more yeah. space and then finish the turn. So it's been very good about that. Excellent. So have you been using it for, um, you know, um, coming to pick you up and things like that? Uh, smart Valet. selling, I, I, I actually did use yesterday. <laughs> um, I don't use it too often. It's pretty much the same as the public build, so it's a little slow, and if it's a really busy area, you know, I don't want to get in anyone's way. But mm. uh, the self-driving, what we're using here now, where it's, it's pretty much doing everything, I just have to, you know, of course, pay attention. Uh, I use that as much as possible. I would say 99, 98% of my miles are using this. Mm. You know, I noticed that it's picking up the, um, it's picking up the uh, cones, or mm -hmm. at least it turned one giant one into two small ones, but it does not pick up on those stanchions. Um, and that's one of the things I did like about FLIR because um, it does pick up on stanchions. You you know exactly uh, what's sitting over there. I think that's gonna be something that I'm gonna hope they're gonna put in place, so. Well, I actually did ask Elon on Twitter about that. I came across some deer and my car stopped for the deer. And it continued, yeah. but it didn't display them. And he said, eventually, the goal is to basically display reality right here. Yeah. And they'll be adding those things over time. Well, that is, 
is uh, kind of what um, what I think FLIR can do for us. Stopping here, it'll wait for that car because they have right of way, of course. Yeah. And now it should continue. So that noise was the car. Sometimes it lets off the brake a little hard, and you'll hear it kind of bump up there. Ah. Huh. Actually, the one thing that I really enjoy is the fact that I only use one foot for driving. I almost yes. never uh, hit the brake. Yeah, that's. It has to be nice. something really dramatic, and I have to have it off autopilot. So we've pretty much made it to our destination here. I, I did one thing. I tapped the accelerator at that left light, the blinking yellow, to tell it to go, and that was it. The rest was all completely handled by the car. So at this point, it'll basically stop at wherever you told it. So this is where we told it to go. Well, really? Hmm. Well, I don't know. I really don't think I want to buy that house. <laughs> OK, so let's do the other thing that I'm, uh, I'm kind of interested in, and that is um, home. Sure. Just where, I, where did I come from? Um, so how, how does that work? Uh, do you want to go back to where we were? Yeah. So I, I have your address up in here already because I navigated that. Oh, but I thought, doesn't it, doesn't it uh, go back to a home, uh, like uh, the, the previous location or something? Uh, no. I thought there was a, a function there. Mm, um, I mean, it has my home. <laughs> no, I mean, um, uh, return to the previous location. It's kind of like... Um, mm. Uh, I thought I thought that that was going to be uh, one of the functions that, that was on this. Oh no, that is not here yet. Yeah, they, uh -huh. I mean they may add that, but but they don't have that for now. You have to basically you have to tell it where to go, and then it'll take you there. Uh, mm. Yeah. All right. So the last thing I guess is, um, can you use the microphone to uh, instead of using this? Mm -hmm. So how do you uh, how do you do that? So you would just click this button, and you would just say navigate to whatever you want. And then, like, if the car's already in autopilot, it'll just go there. Okay, so what about this? Let's, um, let's put the car in autopilot, mm -hmm. and you push your magic button, and say to go back to um, 1140 center. Okay, center I'm going to see what happens. Let this guy pass us, and then we will. And I'll let you say it. So after I click it, you go ahead and say whatever you like. Okay, let's go back to 1140. Uh, center drive. Oh, try it. Hold on. Go try it one more time. Go back to 1140 center drive. So there you go. Navigating to? That's Waterford Township. Nope, that's not the right one. <laughs> nope, that's wrong. All right, we can try it one more time. Okay, let's go to 1140 center drive. Auburn Hills, Michigan. And so there it goes. It's asking us to confirm that one. So I'm just going to click. And now it should take us there. So as of now, it's just kind of going because it didn't know where to go. Now that it has directions, it should continue. So right now it's checking for visibility. It's not very confident in what it sees around. Now it knows mm -hmm. there's no vehicle, so it's continuing. So, it's mapping our route I have never been on before, so, oh yes I have, North Perry, no I have not. So here we go, um, here's a street that's quite big, yep. and I've never, uh, never been here before. Goofy with the steering wheel there, but it's basically ready, we should go after these cars, I don't see anybody. And here it goes. So it was, again, confident that there were no vehicles coming, so it moves out onto the road and continues. So it, it jerked a little bit when it got into, I assume that's a bike lane. A yep. bike lane. Yeah, I think that threw it off for a second, and then it kind of figured out, oh, that's not our lane, and it, it moved over. The wipers are also on auto right now, so I'm not doing that. The car can yeah. basically decide whenever it thinks it can't see well, well enough. Well, I, I have that on my three as well, right. uh, which was kind of oh. a handy thing. <laughs> I guess this thing really... Uh, Really loves to be in that right-hand lane. Yeah, so that was no good. <laughs> Changing lanes without a blinker. I don't. Uh, I don't like that idea <laughs> at all. So. Uh, well, it, it's doing that to get ready for this right turn. Uh, I mean, it mm. still should have used a blinker, of course, but it'll. 
usually, if you're having a good day, it'll prepare for the next maneuver. So it knew we had to go right, it saw that we had a green right arrow there, and it's just moving right through. Hmm. The one good thing is it's moving faster than the, uh, the normal speed. So it, it goes faster than the posted speed. Yeah, I set that up. So you can put that in the settings. Uh, I have it to go 10% over. Um, and then of course I can change it with the scroll wheel if I you know, want to go faster or slower. But default, it will go 10% over whatever the posted speed is. 10% or 10 miles? 10% is what I have set. You can set miles or, or percent, whatever you like. Ah, okay. Yeah, most people were saying, well, you know, why didn't you drive it on the expressway? Actually, the expressway is easier for this the real killer is when you start getting into subdivisions. That's when uh, that's when this is a real big deal. Um, on the expressway, I put it into autopilot and uh, it's done. There's no problem. <laughs> yeah. Everything's fine. But it doesn't like it if I try and do autopilot um, uh, in a neighborhood like we were just at. So the real big trick here is driving in um, uh, cramped quarters. So this is done really well. I think anyway um, so have you have you experienced anything that's kind of like shocked you or scared the children or whatever? and no uh, I, yeah, I wouldn't put it that way but it definitely makes mistakes and it is a good idea I mean Tesla tells you in the release notes of this you always have to pay attention keep your hands on the wheel of course yeah um, sometimes like that lane change we had back there without a turn signal it'll kind of make quick moves like that yeah it's a lot freer than than the public build of autopilot that's kind of you know stuck in its lane yeah if this thinks it needs to you know move on the center line to get out of a bicyclist's way it'll do it yeah and so you have to kind of be prepared for when it does that when it's not supposed to um, mm. so i wouldn't say anything has scared me but yeah there's definitely times i take over because it's getting too close to a wall or maybe too close to some barrels or something like that um, but yeah, no, I, I've never been scared by it. Hmm. So it should take this right, no problem. Well, it's very good. That, so now, like you were saying, highways are, are no problem. Now the big problem is is downtown areas are, are, are the hardest at this point. Yeah. Um, and it'll yeah. do it, but it, it makes a lot more mistakes if we were to you know go downtown Detroit or, or Ann Arbor or something like that. Well, I'd like to thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you all for watching Monroe Live. And make sure that you uh, bump into uh, Chris's station there, the Dirty Tesla and see what he's got going on. I saw the one thing Thank where you. you're doing an obstacle course, so absolutely <laughs> that's something that you wanna try and look at. Anyway, bye all folks, and uh, stay tuned for more stuff. Bye now.